Hey everyone, this is Amazing SKM, and now we're going to take a look at the Asus VivoTab RT. Uh, now, the RT means that it was made specifically for tablets, uh, and they run just the apps from the App Store. So, if you had some video games that you wanted to download uh, from a website or something like that, you cannot put those on this device. You would have to get the Windows 8 Pro version uh, of a tablet, like the Surface Pro, um, and some of the other tablets that are out there. Um, what's in the store you'll find most of what you need i believe anyway you have your twitter your facebook uh even though the facebook apps on here are third party uh you can go to youtube on internet explorer but it does not have a native youtube app on here like you would find on ios devices and of course uh, android devices um does it have every single thing that you need i think it has what you need i just don't think it has everything of what you would want specifically for me uh, that means gaming and we'll go over here to games and we'll look at some of the top paid applications on here and you can see Bejeweled, you can see Angry Birds Space, uh, Where's My Water, uh, Rayman Jungle uh, Run, some of the staples that you'll find on some of the other app stores. However, like Minecraft and everything, you get a block world, you won't find some of the game loft uh, applications games from EA and everything like that you can get deal or no deal Pac-Man championship is 10 bucks on here um, you get classic free sale some of the card games gin Rami those kind of things are indeed here but you're not gonna find shadow gun you're not gonna find Batman you're not gonna find spider-man you're not gonna find modern combat for you're not gonna find those high-end uh, really nice games that you'll find on other uh, devices. Riptide GP is here, but Riptide GP has been out for quite a while. Um, and you can see it's 98 apps in the top paid applications. If I were to take a look at the featured application or the top paid on my Android device, I would run into simply hundreds and hundreds of games. So you're not going to find the high profile games on here. Uh, and even some of the high profile applications on other devices like Flipboard, um, Instagram, you can go to Instagram with a third party on here, but you can't, it does not have the native Instagram application on here. Of course, Microsoft owning Skype, you can Skype. We'll take a look at uh, the social applications that you can find on here. And you can see you have stumbled upon, read it. Uh, you have Facebook Mobile on here, which I believe is a third party. Um, you can find uh, Twitter, um, some of the other applications. Like I said, um, you're dealing with a lot of third party applications here and not the applications made by the actual uh, owners of a particular website or application. So Instagram client on here a lot of Facebook a lot of repeats and everything like that um, but like I said you'll find the basics of the things that you need you won't find the things that you want that looks pretty good but that's just news uh, so let's look at gaming let's close that and we're gonna go to the gaming now you can go ahead and change around uh, the different applications and where they are and everything just by pr pretty much pulling down on it. You can uninstall an application, you can unpin it from the start menu, you can make it smaller if you like, and you can also turn off the live tiles like this one would stop moving if you turned it off. Um, if you wanted to move it around like Google Glass, I can just snap it off and put it here. And if you do a pinch in right here, if I wanted to take the games and put it after productivity, I could do that. So let's take a look at a game, Dread. Um, and I have to say that most of the games on here look pretty good. Um, I'm going to start here. So I 
take my little points back here. Got to reload. Go ahead and reload here. Now I find myself um, sometimes if I swipe from the left, sometimes it'll take me out of the game that I'm in or the other application and load uh, another app that I was in previously. But I haven't started any other applications in here, so. get that so that's an example of some of the gaming that you can actually do on uh, this device not bad by any stretch of the imagination but uh, if you want like I said the high profile games that you find on other uh, ecosystems uh, you're not gonna find a lot here but like I said it's workable so let's take a look at the internet on here and um, it's a mixed bag. I like that every web page that I go to is the full desktop version of the web page. I don't have to uh, reassign it from mobile to desktop view. It automatically comes up with the full view. Now this is YouTube, but we're going to take a look at something that I found that kind of from time to time will bother me. Um, and this is Best Buy um, and I want to go to video games for instance that sub menu is under products so you'll see if I tap on products a menu will jump up for a second but it won't stay on the screen for me to be able to choose video games what I would have to do is type in video games here hit enter and it should then take me to uh, the video game page. Now if I grab my Nexus 7 here put in my password you can see that here's the full web page here and so before you can see it a little bit better I'm gonna put it in portrait um, landscape mode. Um, when I tap on products here you can see that the sub menu pops up and stays up. Now from this point, um, it will take me to uh, video games if I tap on it. And there is a sub menu there, but it does automatically take me to just the video games. On iOS devices, you will be able to navigate through each of those sub menus. And if I had long pressed on video games, I could have kept the next sub menu up as well. So on here, I have to do a search and sometimes that's not an option on some web pages. So on some web pages you can get stuck and I think they need to go ahead and address that uh, whenever they choose to update it. However, once you do get to a web page, it is very nice. It strolls, scrolls through very nice. It's very res uh, responsive to touch. Um, pinch to zoom is really easy. We'll take a look at a big uh, section here and you can see that this text is nice and crisp. You're not seeing a lot of pixelation or anything like that. Um, you will with certain pictures and everything uh, because of the format that they have it in but if say for instance that was a high definition uh, file JPEG or something like that it will probably look pretty good on there. So browsing on here like I said it's a mixed bag. I like that I don't have to go uh, and do something to get the normal web page it brings up the normal web page each and every time let's go to the verge uh, and you can see here we'll press a video 
and you can see that it will start to play that video. That's because it actually has, it is flash enabled. It has flash available for so this tablet. The, the sound on here is good in a quiet room. I have it all the way up. Let's turn it down to about 50%. Uh, so video on here works very well as opposed to Chrome on uh, on other tablets, I mean on Android tablets and even on uh, you know Apple tablets sometimes some video wouldn't be available so I like that it has flash enabled. This could very well be HTML5 however I haven't run into yet a web page that I couldn't watch the video that's on there and that's happened on my Android tablet. Um, of course, you can sideload Flash onto um, some of the newer Android tablets. So that is browsing on here. Now let's take a look at video. Now uh, it's kind of hit and miss. I have a, a drive uh, on my router that's always broadcasting. That means most of my devices that can connect to my network I should be able to get to my videos. Now I'm going to show you something that's very interesting. These are the movies that are on my network drive. What I find is that it knows it's there, but you can see all of them don't display any kind of information. I have no idea what I would be picking. So if I click that and press open, I would just have to wait and see what I'm actually watching here which of course isn't very productive <laughs> so but it is streaming it from the device upstairs and we're gonna have to turn that back up so you can see that once it buffers a little bit it'll go ahead and play But you can see in any room that had any kind of ambient noise, the speakers on here just wouldn't do it. You would have to wear your headphones. In fact, I think these are some of the poorer uh, speakers, even though they're stereo speakers, on this device. This is all the way up and this is how loud the sound is. very quiet but that is video playback and that's actually streaming from my network uh, drive I find that I often have to install or find my network drive um, a lot because it often tells me that it's offline luckily today it's online which I can go ahead and watch videos and everything like that so we've talked about the store and applications and the fact that most of what you need will be here most of what you want is not. Um, you can actually go to your friends app and if you had Twitter and Facebook, I deleted my Facebook um, a month or so ago so I'm no longer on Facebook but it still pulls information from Facebook which is interesting. Um, and so these are some of the people that are on Facebook. Of course if I clicked on them uh, it'll bring stuff up but it wouldn't bring information up on them because I don't have Facebook. I'm no longer a part of Facebook, so you can see I need to reconnect there, and I, I don't have any desire. Google uh, services are not here. I can't sync my Google Calendar here. There's no native uh, YouTube application, no Google Drive, no Google Plus. Those applications um, are not here, and being someone who's deep into Google services, um, if I wanted to go to iOS, for instance, if I wanted to go there, Google services are there. They are not um, on here, which I can go to the web page. But again, I'm working for the tablet instead of the tablet working for me. Uh, the things that I like about it, I do like the fact that when I first turned it on, it found my Wi-Fi printer. It found my uh, computers. It found my smart TVs. Um, however, like I said, sometimes they show up in my devices, sometimes they don't. I have two smart TVs in my home, uh, and right now, if I go to settings, 
and go to PC settings and I go to devices, you can see here that it had it did find my uh, link station, my hard drive where my movies and everything like that. But I would have to do a search here. Um, and hopefully it'll find the devices on here. You can see it's taking a little bit of time. I'm not going to take up too much this, this video talking about it because we're already at 15 minutes. But again, things that it should be able to find, it doesn't. I like the email client in that I connect all of my uh, email addresses, I mean email accounts on here. And so I can actually check my inbox of my Gmail, my Yahoo account, my corporate account, uh, my work account, uh, email address and everything. Um, it is not a great looking app, but it's it does its job and everything. I can pinch the zoom in here uh, and everything. So you can essentially do the things that you need to do. The other thing uh, that might make this a game changer is the fact that it has Microsoft Office. Now it doesn't have the full suite like you would find on your laptop or your work computer and everything like that, but it does have the essentials. It has Microsoft Word 2013, uh, Excel 2013, OneNote, and PowerPoint. Um, and when you open it, some people find it a little mis disconjoining that it jumps from the Metro UI over to um, the desktop. Um, what I do find is that it's a very robust application. I actually put a link to my own video into a Word document. What would happen if I sent this out? I imagine something like this if you're on a laptop would jump out and you can play it. Hey everyone, this is Amazing SKM and I know I haven't made a video in a while but I've been uh, going to school and I got a new job and my hours have So and we can even play 1080p. Have changed, and so I'm just trying to fit into my schedule how I want to work uh, making my videos, but I think all of you who haven't jump shift or anything like that. I'm still so the, I thought that was nice and neat and everything and let's face it all the other office suites are trying to be Microsoft Office uh, When you get an application on your Android device on your Apple device, it is Microsoft Office compatible it is trying to uh, hook into the popularity and the powerhouse that Microsoft Office is so that's one of the things that are great. Um, I think that's all I want to go ahead and show you guys. I can't say that I dislike this tablet. I just can't say that I love it. So odds are I'm probably going to take it back and try out a pro version of this because I can go ahead and install some of the native applications that you get uh, with Windows Pro. But that being said, uh, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, go ahead and put them down in the comment section. And of course, I will address it as soon as I possibly can. Until next time, you all take care.